Hello, I'm Ross Exton, and today we've come to the studio to find out if metals can have a memory. Our new family show, Explore Your Universe, is about everything from atoms to astrophysics, as we investigate the Science and Technologies Facilities Council, or SDFC for short. SDFC scientists are working on something known as memory metal. Most materials on Earth exist in three different phases, solids, liquids, and gases. But memory metals are made of a nickel-titanium alloy, which has two different solid phases. So to help us understand what is happening, we have this toy. The first phase is called the martensite phase. And in this state, the memory metal is bendy or malleable. And the second phase is called the austenite phase. And in this state, the metal is rigid. So I can move this toy and it changes shape. The pieces change their arrangement without actually coming apart. The nickel and titanium atoms of the memory metal can change their arrangement in a similar way. But the memory metal changes from being bendy to rigid based on its temperature. Here we have some real memory metal. At the moment it's cold, so I've been able to bend it around into this spiral shape. But it didn't always look like this. Let's see if it can remember its original rigid shape by putting it into some boiling hot water. Three, two, one, go. So yes, metal can have a memory, and if you want to find out how SDFC scientists are using memory metal in satellites, then why not come along and explore your universe in our new family show. we